So anyways, we know Ray, he loves golf, right? So when he's not out on the golf course swinging the club, he's in the club swinging. I want to introduce you to our primo, Ray. I think he's going to be coming up pretty soon. All right, guys. Peace. Oh shit, oh shit, uh, I just got a flashback with this song playing back to 1984, uh, that show is long gone. I'm glad I'm not using this mic. Chinada. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let me jump into this real quick. I'm new at the comedy game, so, uh, I had a dilemma. I'm sure a lot of comics before me basically went through the same thing, uh, to cuss or not to cuss is the question. You know, uh, people are sensitive these days. Got cancel culture, all that going on. So, <laughs> already. <laughs> I thought long and hard about it. Thought long and hard, hard about it, and I finally just told myself, fuck it, let's do this. Woo, yeah, that's what's up. What's gonna happen, they're gonna cancel me? God already canceled half my height when he made me. Doesn't get worse than that. Yeah, God was like, uh, yeah, this, this guy, no, we can't make him regular size. He'll be out of control. <laughs> if we make him tall, it'll be even worse. So, yeah, uh, what's up, Albuquerque? Burke, Valencia County, Belen in the house. B-Town, woo! So, yeah. <laughs> I go by uh, Little Ray because, well, look at me. It's not too hard to figure out. And uh, El Nino was kind of taken. I know you're thinking the weather pattern, but there's also a porn star named El Nino. Bow, cha -cha, bow, wow. <laughs> Some of the ladies are like, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I, uh... I have a lot of uh, short jokes, go figure. Uh, a lot of comics, uh, they bring up uh, you know, props on stage to help assist with their jokes. Visual aids, if you will. Well, I am the prop. <laughs> I'm a human prop. <laughs> so uh, let's get into, a, oh yeah, I see. Some of you are looking at me like, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> Exactly, looking at me like, uh, this is a comedy show, uh, we're here to laugh. You are a comic, you're here to make us laugh. So, hurry the fuck up, it's cold out here. <laughs> hey, no hecklers, my first time up, not ready for that shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, give him another drink, give him another drink. <laughs> So, uh, sh short life, jump into the short life. So, uh, you know, uh, not por vida loco, it's por vida poco. <laughs> Living por vida poco, I've got heels on my shoes, shoes, shoes. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, short life, let me tell you a little bit about this uh, short life. <laughs> so, you know, uh, out jogging. I was out jogging uh, one day and, you know, come up to the intersection, waiting for the crossing sign so I get across the street and uh, Mrs. Good Samaritan walks up. The anti-Karen, if you would. <laughs> She's like, excuse me, son, are you lost? Would you like for me to call your parents or uh, 911 so they could get you home safe? And I'm like, what? I look at her and she's all, why you have a lot of facial hair for a little kid? <laughs> oh, goodness. Another time jogging. White Van Weirdo rolls up. White Van Weirdo, yep. White Van Weirdo has upped his game. It's no longer just candy to lure the kids in the van. White Van Weirdo rolls up. And he's like, excuse me, son. Are you a gamer? 
because I have a PS5 in the back of my van attached to a 35 inch monitor. I'm like, what the? Come on, bro. Not a, uh, yeah, come on, bro. Just keep rolling, dude. Keep rolling. I'm not into that. I will, I will shoot your ass, bro. Keep rolling. He's like, you will shoot my ass? I'm like, no, bro. Not like that. Fuck out of here. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, so, uh, yeah, another time, I was in the barber shop. This was just recently. I walked into the barber shop, signed in up front, and sit down. I noticed, uh, I wasn't there too long. The barber's done with the guy ahead of me. The guy pees, walks out. The barber cleans around the chair, this and that. Then I see the barber walking up to my chair, and he leans over, and he's all, You ready for a haircut, little guy? Might have a lot of facial hair for a little kid. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, uh, yep. Another, another time, I'm telling you, this is the short life. They've been por vida poco. So I go over to a buddy's house. He's expecting me. And, uh, you know, I roll up, walk up, knock on the door. My buddy answers the door. He's with his little kid. Little kid starts jumping. Excitement. He's all, cool, dad. You brought another kid for us to play with. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, my buddy's like, uh, just ignore that. Let's go to the living room. So we make our way to the living room. There's a group of kids there. I know right away who the little bully is. Right away, I look over, little bully's looking at me like, who does this punk think he is? I think I can take him. <laughs> Bro, I'm not here to throw hands with you. <laughs> not here to throw hands with you. So, yep. Even por vida poco, I'm telling you. So anyway, I, uh, you know, everyone wants to uh, identify as whatever, so... I said, this can work for me. I am now going to identify as six foot six. <laughs> this can work. I start telling all my friends and shit, you know, uh, I am now identifying as six foot six. Whenever you come up to me, feel free to address me with things such as like, what's up, big guy? What's up, big dog? How's the weather up there? Shit was working. People were doing that, it was working. It was going good. I was like, yeah, feeling good about myself. This is when reality set in. I was in the store one day after I was identifying as six foot six and uh, I had to ask some five foot two gal to get something for me off the shelf. I was like, well, I guess I'm not six six after all. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm still on that identified thing because like, I guess I was feeling left out because everyone wants to identify as shit these days. So I was like, well, I don't know, this one might be kind of in the gray area. Let me approach someone who might have a valid opinion on this. So I went up to my HR manager at work. I'm like, hey, uh, can I identify as old school? He's like, what do you mean? I was like, well, you know, like old school. If I said certain things back then and they weren't considered to be offensive, you know, like if I say the same stuff now, could I get a pass? Because I'm identifying as old school. <laughs> I said, uh, and my pronoun is gonna be OG. <laughs> my HR manager looks at me and says, uh, Ray, remember we already had that meeting set up for some of the other stuff that you said? <laughs> Let's go ahead and move that up a little bit. So I looked back at him and I said, so that's a hard no, is what you're saying. <laughs> so yeah, that didn't work. So I said, uh, well, I still want to identify as something because I feel left out. It's what's going on these days, it's the thing. So I said, well, let's do something more realistic because that other shit didn't work. <laughs> so I said, all right, well, you know, yeah, the LGBTQ, whatever, all those letters. I said, well, that's cute. 
they all claim one letter. That's cute. I'm so fucking short. You know, I gotta like make up for this. So I'm taking three letters to compensate. My three letters, I'm taking the letters for all the short people. My three letters are SAF, S-A-F. S-A-F, meaning short as fuck. The reason I say short as fuck, cause I'm still compensating. You know, like that little motherfucker with a big old monstrous fucking four wheel drive and shit. Has like a fucking ladder with seven fucking steps to just get into the cab. Uh, La Verga looks like he just fucking competed at the mud bogs at Tingley Coliseum. <laughs> yeah, Seth. Seth is my pronoun, by the way. That's what's up. <laughs> so I have a... I have a short fuse and a little bit of a temper. Those are not short jokes. <laughs> Leading into something. So yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I tell fools when they start to get me pissed off, like, don't make me go all 5-5 five five on you, bro. Don't make me get all 5-5 five five on you, bro. You know, uh, and then I follow up with, don't make me Make you kick my fucking ass, right? Cause that shit, well, you know, I will punch the shit out of your face with, well, actually I'm gonna punch your fist with my face. <laughs> and it's gonna hurt me a lot more than it hurts you. Remember that line that mom would give you before she whooped your ass with the belt? Oh, Hito, this is gonna hurt me a lot more than it hurts you and then I can run to my room and start getting them welts and a throbbing pain and I'm still wondering like how the fuck did this hurt her more than it hurt me? <laughs> to this day, that shit don't make sense to me. But ching, uh, that was bullshit. <laughs> that was bull effing shit. Mom, sorry. Oh, she didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um Oompa Loompa Oompa fucking Loompa That is the ugliest term ever used to describe little people <laughs> To this day I think that guy had hatred the guy who wrote the book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory he had hatred he hated little people he hated us. If you would have wrote that book these days, I would have been the first one to try to cancel his ass. <laughs> oompa fucking oompa, what the fuck, dude? Smurf, way better than that. Munchkin's even better. Hobbit, all day, every day, bro. I'm good with that shit. Oompa fucking, think about it. Oompa loompa. Come on, bro. Like I said, if you'd have wrote that shit these days and I found out he was trying to call us Oompa Loompas, would have never made it to a movie. I would have canceled his ass. I would have been there in front of his fucking house with a hobbit army, bro, protesting. Shit would have never made it to a movie. Anyway, let's get past that. I'm getting fired up. Remember I talked about that temper and shit. <laughs> Shout out to this buddy named Roger. Roger's kind of an asshole. I like Roger though, don't get me wrong. Roger's kind of a jerk. But I like him, go golfing and all that bullshit together. And he's, he's all right, but he's an asshole. Roger's talking shit to me one day. Talking shit, and I tell Roger, you know what Roger, you're making me very angry. That motherfucker starts rolling out. <laughs> like what the, what's up bro? You're getting me mad. He's all making you very angry. What are you gonna do? Turn green and double in size? <laughs> You're still gonna be a little f***er, only green. <laughs> oh, this guy. I have a buddy named Jake. <laughs> 
He's here as well. Jake from State Farm? Jake's talking shit. Jake from State Farm. <laughs> Jake's another one likes to talk some smack. I don't know. He, I don't know how he got me to that next level one day. You know, Jake's talking his smack. I think he said something about Dan Marino, dude. Blasphemy, blasphemous to me, bro. Anyway, <laughs> he got me to that next level, so I'm like pissed off, and I'm like, "Fuck you, Jake!" To his right in his face. Jake starts fucking laughing like fuck. Dude. <laughs> like, bro, what's up? He's all. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what's up? He's all. You have such a little hand. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Like a Oompa Loompa. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah. Living la vida poco. <laughs> so uh there was this one time I was out in uh Washington, Washington State. Uh I was in a bar, with my sister and brother and I had my peeps out there anyway. I'm dancing, socializing, had a few drinks, these gals come up to me, we're talking, they're like, where are you from? Because I think it was pretty obvious. I was not from there. <laughs> so they come up, we're bullshitting, and uh, I start thinking, you know, I could just be anyone. What the hell? I'm never going to see these people again. Like, who are you? Where are you from? I'm like, I am Ramon. <laughs> I am Ramon Antonio Flores de Albuquerque. And I do dirty dance for the ladies. Shit was going good. Shit was going good. It was rolling and shit. Anyway, uh, so the one gal comes up, Mrs. Highly Educated Trilingual White Girl. Her friend's like, this is Ramon. He's a dancer from Albuquerque. That gal's like, uh, oh, cool. I took four years of Spanish in college, and I never have anyone to practice with. I'm like, adios. I'm not chingada. So yeah, um, you know, I travel a lot. Met people from a lot of different places, and uh, it's kind of weird. It seems like uh, it's a lot easier to meet people out there. Like the social scene is better. And I'm thinking that makes the dating scene a little better. It's a little tough uh, in New Mexico. I don't know what's up here. And it's uh, men and women. I don't know what's up here. It's like here in Albuquerque, like the strong sixes think they're tens. <laughs> La verga. <laughs> now you, 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 you go to Berlin, B-Town, fucking fives think they're tens. <laughs> you go all the way down to Socorro and the the fucking two is telling you, what are you doing talking to me? You're lucky if I let you take me out to go get a stuffed sopopia. What the fuck? New Mexico's a tough dating scene. I know I've been to different places. It's, it's different. <laughs> I know y'all agree. Oh my god, yeah. Too much, too much. So, uh, yeah, I used to have a <laughs> I used to have a living gal, whatever, stay at home gal, what the fuck you call it? Stay at home fucking massage therapist. Bounce to bow wow. <laughs> anyway, yeah, she didn't work. She cleaned, spent a lot of my money, did other chores, spent more of my fucking money. She fucking once bought me a grill for my birthday using my credit card. So anyway, she was having a day. She fucking walks in. She's all, well, you know, what do you bring to the table? <laughs> what? I bought the fucking table. <laughs> I bought the house. I bought your fucking car. I bought your sex toys. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
the fuck do I bring to the table? Yeah, so Oompa Loompa bought your... <laughs> so, uh... Golf. I like to golf. Golf with my buddy Raj and Jake. Three times the, my two nicest friends. <laughs> Oh, oh my, there goes my whole team on the All of them just quit, son of a bitch. So anyway, golf, uh, here comes a racist joke. <laughs> Some of you guys are out of control. Here comes a racist joke. Y'all know I like to golf so much. The reason, the main reason I like to golf so much is because I get to knock the fuck out of that little white guy all over the golf course for five hours with the club and it's legal. So, uh, golf. So golf, you say certain things on the golf course that you're probably not going to tell your buddy out here in the general public or here tonight or whatever. Things such as, uh, wow, you really pounded that driver right up the middle, oh my god. Such a smooth stroke with your putter. Put it in the hole, put it in the hole. Man, you mean business with that eight iron. <laughs> Pull that thing out, you mean business. <laughs> Uh, so, anyway, uh, that's about all I have for tonight. I really, really thank you all for coming out to support me. Really appreciate it. There will be more, I'll be doing more shows coming up. Next up on stage, we have, uh, Next up on stage, we have, uh, Nicolina Nix, a one-time Playboy Centerfold Reject. Thank you guys. Love you all.